Hey everybody, it's Chris from Mystery Snail Pros. I don't know where Whitney went. She took off, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a cool and rare sighting that maybe a lot of you haven't seen before. And this is one of our giant Colombian ram's horns laying a clutch. See, there's a regular size ram's horn snail. Well, this is a giant Colombian ram's horn. And you see how wide it is? They're like an inch wide. And then like two inches in diameter. Massive. And what she's doing is laying a clutch very similarly to a mystery snail does above water, except for she does it underwater and it's in a jelly-like substance. And I went to shoot a video a minute ago and our female beta came up and started trying to eat the eggs. I don't know whether or not she ate any, but she was sheer curious. And then she lost interest and moved on. So we just let nature run its course in our tanks and only the strong survive. And a lot of them survive. So I say that that's the best way to go in my opinion. As little human intervention as possible. Intervention. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got mystery snails over here just enjoying their mosses and going around. We've got a couple over here enjoying some snello. Some of those new snello molds that we just made. A couple of the purples. So, oh, look at that magenta back there. Being a bully to those hot pink. And a couple of little purples are hanging out. Oh no, that's a that's a couple of Colombians. They're all hanging out on top of the tree. Oh, and look back there. The cat broke my blinds. Yeah, that's so horrible. I hate that. I hate when I drive past the house and the blind is broken. I'm gonna have to fix that today. Anyway, I don't care. I keep it real. This is my tank, it's a 55 gallon, and um, part of it's sectioned off over there, and we've got it, a few things done, and I've got three HOB filters on it, and several double sponge filters as well, a pretty awesome heater with an external temperature control gauge, and uh, I really like it, we use uh, these big Increase for our ultra quiet air pumps and have several over here and I've got another tank over here with some coolies in it, cool roaches and uh, a massive piece of mopani. This is my favorite piece of mopani I've ever had. And then look, there's my pineapple grade. I love this pineapple. He is a beast and so beautiful. He always stays stretched out like that at all times. A lot of people say that these big gumbo ears have trouble getting around, but he certainly does not. Sorry about the glare. He's gonna show us some, his stuff and glare at us, isn't he? What? You getting mad? Guys, let's go back and look at the clutch laying one more time. You can slowly see it moving down and across the foot and into the cluster just like other apple snails like the mystery snail these are in no way related to the other ram's horns that you can see in here down below it that's a baby one about marble size or maybe a little bigger but 
These pink ones are in no relation. These and these are closely related. They're just both the shape of ram's horns. So, hence the name. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys something cool. Have a good day. Be kind to one another and great things will happen to you and yours.